Hello everyone. In today's video, I will show you how to add or copy a row in an ALV grid. The newly added rows can then be edited and saved. I'm expanding the following video of mine with the title ALV grid editable edit and save entries. A small warning at this point, the sound quality is unfortunately not the best due to my not optimally adjusted microphone filters. By now, this should be better. So, let's have a look at the program. Let's run the program. We see here a data from a database table. Uh, we have two columns here, the care ID and the con ID. It's the key of the table. And an edit ever column city from. And I can change here the entries of the column city from. I do this now and I can save the, uh, the change. So let's go back and run the program again. And now we see my change is saved or stored in the database table. I can also delete the record. For this I can check a record and uh, delete it. So let's go back and run the program again. And we see here my record is deleted. So what do I want to do today? I want to change or edit a GUI status. I want to add another icon here for the copy or add for the insert of a new row. And this uh, new edit row should also be editable and I should also be saveable. So let's go to the GUI status. It's called standard in my program and I call the GUI status here in this part of my code. So I do a double click here, go to the application toolbar and I see here some en empty spaces and I write here the function code I want to need uh, use. Click on enter and I have here an icon, but I can already search for other icons here. I click on the button and I type here add. And here I can pick this icon for my function code. Then I click on right mouse click activate interface. Then I go back and let's uh, run the program and we see here the new icon, the new button. Um, the next step is to write the code behind this icon. For this I go back to my code. I scroll down to the user command form. It's this here. There are uh, already two uh, um, buttons, data save and the delete button. And this is the called uh, forms behind these buttons. And now I want to add the new button, the function code add one. And for this I write here when and add one. And if I want to add an empty row, I write here append w a s b fly to i t s b fly. w a s b fly is my work area. It's empty at this point and so it should add an empty row to my internal table. So I activate the code and run the program and I click a record and I click on the icon add row and I see here a new row is added. So if I want to copy an existing row I have to read the clicked row and for this, I can uh, copy the line from the uh, D 
delete code above. I activate and run the code again. So I click on the, the record San Francisco, for example, and I click on add. And we see here the line is copied. But if I want to save the, the new record, I have to change the, the key here. And so we have to set the, the columns editable. For this, I go scroll up to the field cat and I see I copy the line uh, WA field cat edit from the column city from and I paste it to the care ID column and to the con ID column. These are the key of my table SP fly. And now we see we have now three editable columns care ID, con ID and city from. And now let's copy the line, the record again. And now I can change the, the key. And let's save the record. And let's call the program again. To check if the new edit record is stored in the database. And yes, we see here the new record with the con ID 16. So I can edit this record as well. And I can add another record. Okay, now the, uh, the, the, the ones are uh, disappeared because I read the, the data new from the database when I click on the button add. So let's change these records and save. I run the program again and we see here I can edit the new row as well. And I can add as much rows as I want. The only thing I have to do, I have to change the, the key, the care ID or the con ID. And if I do this, I can save these records to the database. Yes, that was it already. If you liked the video, I would be happy if you give me a thumbs up. You can also leave me a comment. I always enjoy reading them. Also subscribe to my channel, of course only if you like my videos. Well then, until my next video. Thank you and see you soon.